but it's not just a CLI. I actually want to come back to the CLI component because I think it was maybe a scenario where the CLI was great, but then the UI was more valuable. And now I think we're almost in a world where maybe the CLI with how you use it with AI is maybe more valuable than the UI, but let's not jump to that end game. But the intermediate game is like, there's also like a pretty cool UI that you guys built around it. Um, it like spins up. I, I went to the domain and was able to spill it, spin up my own workspace, which was awesome. Um, what was that like going from like, hey, we have a CLI, you know you want an interface, and then now you have something that's like widgetized and pretty cool. Like, what, yeah. how did that transform? So there was an evolution there. So the open source was actually just a CLI in the in the early days, and then what we uh, we started the, uh, understanding is like some people were forking the project, and we were using the the model view controller pattern, right? And people were killing the view. They were not using the CLI. They were just using the uh, the model and the controller, mm -hmm. and then they were building stuff on top. Mm -hmm. So they were interested on the SDK, actually, not on the not on the CLI itself. They used the CLI for exploration to see what data was available, like out of, out of the box quickly, and check what data they could get. And then they used the uh, uh, the the four project as the SDK to build something on top. And that was a super interesting insight. So the first thing then we done was refactoring the project to be like SDK first, mm -hmm. so that you could get the data like through Python, and then you could uh, the the CLI was basically a wrapper above. 